Hey you guys, it's Shane here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the kingdom. Today we are going to be reviewing not just an album, but a masterpiece. My girl Halsey just dropped an amazing album. It is called Hopeless Fountain Kingdom and it is a concept album. Uh, kind of a her own twist on Romeo and Juliet. It is lit like I am literally sweating over here besides the fact that it's like 80 degrees in my house because my air conditioner is broken, but that's besides the point point. and yes I know I am wearing a jacket, but it's all about the aesthetic You know what I mean? If I were to Die tomorrow. I would want this entire album played at my funeral but that can happen a lot later on. Hopefully not anytime soon. Oh my god. It's the hopeless fountain of youth. <laughs> okay, so let me first start off by saying that this album is very, very different from Badlands in the sense of I liked and enjoyed Badlands very thoroughly. Like it was so good. You know what I- mm. Badlands was a fantastic album and I honestly, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I actually think Hopeless Fountain Kingdom is better than Badlands. I know, I can hear all of the masses screaming, being like, off with his head, and I'm just like, no, let's keep it on the neck. I am so lame. <laughs> this album really honestly blew my mind. Let's just start there. But it's the whole story that plays out throughout the album that really touched me and just inspired me greatly and I absolutely adore Halsey. I think she's a fantastic musician and artist. Love her. This is honestly like one of the best albums I've heard in years and I just, I, yeah, you know, like it's just so good. Like, fuck it. Here, this will save you. This is the album that will save us all. I'm actually going to go see Halsey live sometime this fall, uh, November I believe, and I can't wait to hear this album live because I am seriously just snatched, blown away. Just this brought me back to life. This is what I needed. 2017, Halsey has blessed us with Hopeless Fountain Kingdom. It is honestly like that album where you're like, I needed this for so long now. And I feel alive again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. D okay, I was thinking of not doing this, but I'm going to anyway, just because I feel like why not? I'm gonna do my top five favorite songs off of this album, Hopeless Fountain Kingdom, because I really enjoyed Strangers Eyes Closed, Now or Never a lot. Like, I really love those songs because I know the lyrics to them above knowing the lyrics to the songs that just came out. But if I were to have heard none of the album before the day this was released and just listened to it beginning to end, my top five favorites would be Don't Play, Alone, Hopeless, Lie, and Walls Could Talk. I really like the direction it's taking music and it just honestly feels like something bigger than life. And that's kind of how Badlands felt, but I feel like I feel like Hopeless Mountain Kingdom takes it to a whole nother level and it just takes you on this experience and this journey and it takes you through this love story and at the end of it you feel hopeless but you feel good about it. And I'm really happy that you can tell that some of the songs she was talking about anxiety and talking about just insecurities and it's very very refreshing to hear a major pop act talk about that kind of thing because a lot of things are very taboo to talk about in mainstream media and I'm just happy that more people are having conversations about these topics such as anxiety, depression, insecurities, the LGBTQ community. Like I'm happy that this is becoming the more normal conversations that we're having because they're important conversations and they shouldn't ever be taboo to talk about. I just absolutely loved this album and I think it's brilliant and it better win a Grammy or at least get nominated because this is a masterpiece and I just want 
anybody who's watching to give it a chance because I think it definitely deserves your time and I think it's an album that you won't regret listening to. I feel like she just took it up a notch, you know what I mean? I feel like she definitely stepped up her game and made this masterpiece the best it could be. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Hopeless Violent Kingdom and thank you guys so much for joining me in my own personal little weird kingdom. But I had a lot of fun doing this and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what your top five favorite songs are. Uh, what you thought of the album, what you thought of it compared to Badlands. I hope you guys all have a great day or night, whatever, wherever time of day you're watching this. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I see you guys on my next video. So, mwah! thank you guys so much for watching. And go buy Hopeless Fountain Kingdom. Don't be dumb. Don't be lazy. Don't procrastinate. Do yourself a favor and go and buy this album. Ooh!